Because we have, is that the best? You like that? Oh, yeah. This is a very substantial power supply that was designed and built by no less than the great Mr. Bill Weissach. Bill Weissach pretty much is one notch down from Tesla as far as Tesla coil stuff goes. And he built this, this is the System 1 and System 2 power supplies for the Universal Studios Tour. And it lived a long, functional, happy life there. And when it came out of service, it bounced around the Tesla Coil community for a while. And our really awesome friend and supporter of the Geek Group, Aaron, sent this off to us. We use this for the small Tesla Coils, like the, the six inch, stuff like that. And the big problem we have with it is the way that it was originally built. Mr. Weissach used this very act for voltage control and this variac for current limiting. It's just this variac is wired in series with this and it does work for current limiting but we've never dared take it apart enough to find out if it gapped it or not and it doesn't work very well for current limiting. Not as, not as good as other solutions would allow. The, the, he didn't do it the way I would have done it. Mr. Weissach passed a few years ago and I can't just call him up and say do you mind if I butcher your, you know, one of your amazing creations because I think I can do better because I'm so smart and so badass that I'm just going to, you know, do better than Bill Weissach. But the alternative is to have this amazing piece of history in the lab and not have it do what we want it to do. We want to make it functional. So we're going to take apart Bill Weissach's power supply, modify it, because I honestly think I can do better. Hence, Project Hubris. Because I wouldn't make a pimple on the butt of Bill Weissach as an engineer. And I know that going in. So I'm a little bit terrified because I have this weird balance of feelings of I genuinely think I can do better and I've asked two other engineers and we all agree, yeah, this, this is better. But I'm, we're all saying we can do better than Bill Weissach. So, that's something you just don't do. If I'm right, awesome. If I'm wrong, the entire internet's gonna make fun of me. So, in the spirit of all failures happen in full view, we're shooting video of this today. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this Variac and remove it, and we're going to replace it with a X-ray transformer power supply that is a multi-tap variable inductive current limiting setup. Basically, this is the old, and we're going to put in something of similar vintage, but it'll be the new. It's going to take a bit of work. You ready to rock? Ready to rock. Are you, are you sufficiently puckered for this? Mm, pretty much. Okay, now while I'm doing this, I'm going to have you upgrading the power supply because we need a 24 volt power supply in here to run control circuitry off of. And Weissach was nice enough to leave a DIN rail in here for us, so we'll just flip that on there or slide this over. But It'll fit. That'd be great. I'd slide this over this way. Does that fit? If we are not flying. Those might be too short. What? That one. Oh! No, you got you got a service loop here. Yeah, yeah you're cool. Okay. Alright. We'll have to cut some zip ties. Alright. Alright, you go nuts. I'm gonna start with this. Ah. Your weapons suck. Uh, that one? You think? For the Phillips on the front of the plate. Oh no, I'm going to try and disconnect it in situ. I don't want to take the, the heat. I want to keep this here. That's fine. I'm talking about the other plate that the other one's on. Oh yeah, we'll get to that. All right, I'm going to disconnect the wires first. I cut the wire. I'm going to get the other one for you. Yeah, cut that one there. Paul, are there nuts on the back of these? There are not. Well, it's a rather beefy rack around. So this thing is going to weigh about 20 or 30 pounds. It's going to want to pop out of there in a minute. Yeah. 
Mr. Kidwell is going to tip it out towards us. I'm going to do what? You're going to tip it out towards us because there's nothing to grab on this side. I'll tell you when. Because what I don't want it to do, what, what we the don't want it to have to kick out is, no, the bottom isn't going to kick out, is we don't want this to tip this way and fall down. Okay, we want it to tip out this way. So you're going to push here with your finger rather hard. You want to roll this out this way, okay? Because this will sit on that piece of metal, and as long as this piece of metal is on top of that one, you're fine, because then it'll tip out and you just grab it. Mr. Kidwell, yes. I would like you, when I tell you, not yet, but I would like you to apply about five to 10 pounds of force on the top of the plate that I'm taking out. Okay. Here's the plate or the variac is going to hit the top edge of the. Uh, That'll be okay because we'll be able to control it by the time that happens. I just need it tipped out enough that you can get a good grip on it. Say what? Okay, you're going to push nice and solid now because it's about to be free and mobile. All right, Paul? Yes. Push gently on top. Okay. And it'll clear. Now you can grab anything you like in there. We're just going to bring that right out. Like that. That's beautiful. Now we're going to set that down over there. That is the original current control module. Now we have all kinds of room in here. And I'm going to relocate this big beefy transform. Um, Taylor, sir. Come on over here. Take out those four nuts. There's one like that on each corner. We're going to try to help you credit the plate. Because that's quarter inch aluminum plate. I really hope you didn't drill and bolt that with another one. But I have a feeling. Oh, cool. So Paul, yeah. I'm having a thought and I want you to tell me what you think. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. This is a 1500 VA transformer, 1.5 kVA. Right. That'll do 30 amps yeah. quite happily all day long. Our current limiting is going to take us to 20 amps. Mm -hmm. What if I remove that and upgrade us to a 10 kVA pig sitting in here? Got something to fit? I think I do. Go shopping. That's more than just changing the current limiting. That's that's dramatic upgrade of this cabinet. Yeah. All right, I'm doing it. To complete that, I need a brown wire, so I'm going to go find myself some green wire. I got one more. You set it off to the side. It's easy to move on to the one. KVA. Ten KVA, 
So that'll take 20 amps all day long without any problems. Yes, it will. That'll melt down. Yes, it will. So it's a significant step up. Okay. It won't fit the box anymore. No, it's not going to fit the box. But the box is now all low voltage. Way more safer. And we'll run a big power cable out to here, which is still low voltage. This gives us the high voltage out, and we feed this off to the board. Sounds good to me. There you go. Okay. So that means I can get this up. Yes. You want to disconnect the wires? You don't need to. Oh, I can take care of it. Okay. Um, I'm going to need the wire strippers to do something else. Because well, with that out of there, I now have an abundance of space to mount the new one. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, you want me to just cut the wires or you want to run boldly? Um, they're coming out of the contact. I'm just going to scrap. Okay. Cut them just out of the contact here so we know right where they come from. Okay. And just kind of come around. And Taylor, come on up. <laughs> that can come out. Everything's safe, nothing's hot. There, yeah, there's nothing. Safe, nothing hot. Thank you, sir. All right, Paul. Now let's start putting new things in. Well, the 24 volt comes out of the most of the thing. Yes. Um, I need your strickler two right here. I got A little one. Not stupid. Well, no, this will work here. I'm going to need that. I'll bring it back. This is the actual inductive current limiter that we're installing, and these are the controls for it. We've hooked it up and tested it and proven it, and we know it'll work. So now all we have to do is transplant this into there. Which we now have plenty of room to do. Give that back to Paul. You can grab this, lift here. Okay, don't lift it by the plastic bits, don't lift it by that, but anything here is safe. If you grab that, I'll grab all the dangly bits that are about to come with it. I did take a shower this morning. I'm just helping you look and feel your best for your big day on camera here. Okay, much prettier 24 volt power supply. Yep, that's, that's a solid upgrade. You want to start on the control cabinet for the panel? What, mounting the stuff over there? Yep. I'm going to put the big thing in here. Well, why don't you clean the plate I'm cleaning from the plate. this side, and I'll mount the stuff from that side. All right, that's a good idea. Taylor, go around that side. You're going to hand the big part of that through the hole. No, he does not. The two wires, I will be giving you the two wires in a bit. 
Do you want to do what? Undo that short one coming out of the top. Okay. Give me a screwdriver. Front leg. No. That one. Okay. This, this one goes up, my area. goes up to your area. This is going to be the main output power that's going to go connect to this multi-grain. Discs off. You have the strippers on the other side? Yes, I do. Thank you. I figured it out. Yeah, Where am I going? These, these are my outfits right here, right? Those two coming down, yes. Wires. 
They need to be taped off and secured when we're done. I'm going to take all the spins out of it. Now I got half the cable. safely. I have no idea that taps off the uh, current limiter, so God only knows. It will depend on what selections you make and settings you do on variant. Plastic discs aren't going to really line up with anything. That's not going to be Just put the knobs on. If the knobs have a marking on them, make sure to align the marking properly. The knobs do not have a marking on them.
That looks way nice. Are you happy? I'm happy. All right. Come check my work. I'll check yours. I got two knobs to go back on yet. Oh, you're putting the things on? That looks nice. So it's small, medium, large? It is. Going left to right? Large, medium, and small. Okay. And I don't know what's maximum and what's minimum. I don't well, know we'll if we're maximum right now or meters. minimum. Now, your three switches, we never label them, but there was, one of them is a uh, rotary spark gap. Yeah, input contact to rotary spark gap, then output. So you're going to have input output on number one and rotary on number two because the plug you got for the rotary is on this one, not this one. Oh. And I think you gotta have, you're gonna have to have them all on. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this. We'll put switches here. Okay. Once he gets the special drill bit. Yes. We'll, we'll put switches here. Okay. Do it upright. Maybe and actually let me hear it. The variant hangs down to there, so you couldn't put anything. I'll work, I'll, I'll work that out next time. For now, let's test out what we have. I'm going to move this over closer to us because now we're sending low voltage across the back. I can't touch that. Where am I going? Going right there. Huh? The 24 volts is still 24 volting, so you're good. I'm going to locate this right here. Aaron. Okay. You want it further away than that? A little bit. All right, you tell me when you're comfortable. Give the bit six inches in the box. Oh, the distance from the toroid to the top of the primary to be a little more than... Or, well, I figured these are gonna go. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but I'm just... This here should be less than or more than that there. Yeah, that is were higher than fine. That's that should be fine. I'll modify the pick and make it lower. Sounds good. Yeah. Set it right down. All right. Four. Um, you can. I'll get you some wire. Too big to go in here and too small to go in here. Let me see if we have we need, some, we need some better range. I'll just step outside in the cage and look in supply and say, hey, look, we have tank KVA. Just right. Eight millimeters.
It's in, it's secure. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in the rotary. Check the RS around is good. Here. I gotta turn this around. Well, it's kind of this direction I'd rather be operating it from for this. Yes. I think 
We did it. Okay. I think I think we took Bill Boysock's work and actually improved on it. That's pretty amazing. That's the internet's gonna hate us. Oh yeah. Okay. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Paul Kidwell. And as always, we'll see you next time.